Ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten access to a test server in Rise of Kingdoms that shows off all the new content in Update 83, which includes the new Shifting Gears KVK, as well as the museum buffs for Guan Leo and a ton of other things. So today I'm going to go over everything that I'm allowed to share with you guys about this brand new update. And if you appreciate news on new updates, make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video and consider subscribing while you're down there. About 68% of you guys are not subscribed. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. If you guys want to use the chapters down below that's going to help you jump to whatever part of the video you're most interested about let's talk about the new season of conquest shifting gears story okay if we tap on the book in the top right corner you can see that the focus of this story seems to be ranged units and ranged commanders it seems to be the case that this kvk story is centered all around ranged combat at least that's kind of like the gimmick here okay ballista these mighty war machines were once the pride of empires and a symbol of martial might their powerful bolts soared across enemy lines and changed the outcome of countless wars now a new kind of ballista emerges from the kingdom's workshops with abilities unlike any before it shifters this battlefield will be their probing ground where our brave governors will use them to skirmish and harry our foes or rain death from vast distances in this war victory will come at the end of a bolt and here we have a picture of the map that we're going to be getting for this upcoming new shifting gears kvk we have the four camp system one in each corner it looks perfectly symmetrical divided in all four corners so that's going to be really interesting there now i'm just going to remind you guys that i am on a test account here and the developers have made it clear that they're still fine tuning a lot of the things with the new shifter mechanic and how things are going to work so i'm not sure exactly what i can show but let's take a look at what they said in their in-game mail that was already already sent to all players in the game they said we'll have a commander revamp feature that will revamp a commander which will allow them to lead skirmisher slash artillery troops and learn a new active and expertise skill now this is really interesting because this could be giving us a way to actually use old commanders that we invested in many years ago and give them a new role in kvk right so let's say you expertise frederick back in kvk1 because you didn't know what you were doing or you just felt like you like the character whatever the case might be and then you find in season of conquest that he's kind of not that great right well here we've got a revamp feature where maybe in this specific kvk you could use those commanders that are just sitting on the bench to actually have a role in the game that could be really really interesting so here we see shifters are new units that will redefine the way you approach ranged combat if a revamped commander is the primary commander of a troop then all the troops units will be automatically converted into shifters shifters have the same base attributes as siege units but half the load okay they do not counter and are not countered by any unit types that's actually really big that's one of the biggest downsides of siege is that they're literally countered by everything like that no matter what's hitting you unless it's another sieged unit you're being countered but with these that is not the case which is really awesome bonus conversion if a revamped commander is the primary commander of a troop in the map certain bonuses from equipment talents formations armaments technologies the museum and city themes will be converted into bonuses for shifter units depending on the commander's original talents for example if a revamped commander has the infantry tag all infantry bonuses from the above sources will be converted into shifter bonuses in addition melee damage bonuses will be converted into range damage bonuses so this is really nice stuff it's just an effortless just boom you just get the stats for the unit you care about so that makes a lot of sense you don't even have to think about it you just revamp the commander and then all of their stats are going to work for these shifters. now it looks like the shifters can be one of two types of troops okay we've got skirmisher troops and artillery troops skirmisher troops are a new type of troop that can launch ranged attacks without switching to ranged mode but takes increased damage deals bonus damage when there are no enemy governor troops within a certain range only revamped commanders or those with the engineering talent can use their active skills when leading skirmisher troops so that's going to be a big incentive to revamp commanders right like in this game mode you're going to want to revamp commanders unless you're already like heavily invested in siege in which case like you probably already have a good use for those armies you might as well make good use out of other things as well which is really nice and what I'm thinking right out of the like right out of the box I'm thinking of all of the old leadership commanders that nobody uses ever right like Julius Caesar Frederick like all those guys that no one cares about those are the probably the commanders that you're going to want to change and and, and revamp because think about it it says here that they're gonna the stats from the museum are going to be converted 
to ranged bonuses, right? So think about like Caesar and Ragnar, especially Caesar with his 30% all damage bonus. Like that's insane, right? That's insane. And all their stats are universal. So you can use them for anything. I think that could be probably the play, but we'll have to see, especially because you have nothing else to do with them. So why not? Right. Looking at the artillery troops, it says a new type of troop that can launch high damage ranged attacks. It has much longer range than traditional ranged troops, but a limited firing angle. Only revamped commanders or those with the engineering talent can use. Okay. So same thing there as with the skirmishers. So it seems like this army or this type of troop can hit from farther away and deal more damage, but I assume it'll be perhaps like a cone, right? Like, so normally range troops, you can hit in a circle around you. This says that they have a limited firing angle. Okay. So I'm assuming the circle for normal range is converted into an angle of like, you can shoot in this general direction. And that could be super good for things like passes, right? That's the first thing that comes to mind for me, especially if it's higher damage. That's crazy. Revamp coins. You will need to spend revamp coins each time you revamp a commander you will automatically gain revamp coins every hour and can also earn them by completing bastion quests okay so it looks like and you know don't quote me on this but it looks like this is a currency that you're just going to be getting from from just playing this okay maybe there's going to be a bundle or something like that i have no idea but from just by the looks of it it looks like this is going to be just a feature of the kvk i'm hoping that's how it is and if that's the case then okay that makes sense you can't just revamp a bunch of commanders right you're gonna have to actually think about which ones would make the most sense to revamp and you're going to do that right you don't want to waste these coins you want to be smart about it and that's pretty cool and finally we have alliance arrow towers crusader flags can be transformed into alliance arrow towers which will attack nearby non-friendly cities their attacks will reduce the city wall durability i think this is how this already works in certain kvks as well so this is going to be a super interesting kvk and i think for those people that really like the ranged combat style like people who are fans of ranged combat in call of dragons for example maybe this is a little bit more your speed right obviously call of dragons has things like different terrain levels and flying units and all that other stuff but this is still a little bit closer right because now we're having troops that can launch ranged attacks without converting and without a special formation or anything like that and we also are going to have longer distance ranged which is not something we've ever seen in rise of kingdoms before but we do see that in things like call of dragons and other games and so for ranged enjoyers this is going to be a beautiful kvk and also again it could be giving you a way to use some older commanders that you don't have use for and that's one of the things like, I mean, we're looking at Richard here, right? They are actually featuring Richard for this KVK's screen. Like, is that a mistake or is that a hint? Like, what if you converted Richard to a ranged commander and now he's got this massive healing factor for his active skill? Like that could be super interesting, right? And all of his infantry stats are converted into, you know, engineering or ranged stats. And then he's reducing the damage that he's taking. So he's like a tanky ranged healing unit like that. I, I don't know. It, like there's a lot of possibilities here where if you're like, if you're feeling stale of the regular open field combat these days maybe this is like the next kvk that your kingdom should be looking at maybe this is like the solution there because this seems like a kvk that could change pretty dramatically how fighting works assuming that these ranged units are actually powerful because if they're not people are just going to resort to their normal you know their normal seven march lineup and then that's going to be it and yes before you guys ask this is a season of conquest so this does have crystal tech and all that other stuff and if we look at oh well i guess they won't let me look at the store so i don't know if anything has changed there but i doubt it next let's take a look at some of the other events that are present here we've got the rise of kingdoms crossover with the national roman museum like in real life okay and as part of this event it looks like we're gonna get the kind of sort of standard holiday events in search of wonders we also have a rome themed event here which is nice you're gonna be able to get your hands on some legendary commander sculptures some more little brushes also if you want the bard's pendant this is a great time to get your hands on it this is gonna give you more resources when you're gathering you'll have a choice of some of the previous city skins okay two of these are infantry related by the way and then we've got the roman holiday event this is a five day event we've seen this many times before it looks like the civilization explorer event may make a return here as well because we do have the new museum relics right and uh this is sort of a battle pass style of event here where you're going to get actually a lot of this currency for free just by going through the free tier at the very top here boom there we go but it looks like you'll get slightly more than double if you actually upgrade to the explorer's treasures so that's a ten dollar bundle right there as you can see and that'll get you a ton of this stuff so if you are in the market for a lot of those uh you know coins and the, that catch-up stuff then great this is going to be a good chance for you to do that here we've got a couple of different event challenges 
challenges daily challenges things along those lines so there you go we also have the armament reveal thyself event and I think this is actually new this is gonna let you choose a preferred formation which you can get the staggered formation this is the new one that gives you 15 percent March speed when marching to join a rally to arm your garrison and here we can see the probability of getting an inscription legendary inscription epic armament it looks like you can get epics or higher which is really good and it's gonna show you I guess parts of the actual armament so you'll get like a sneak peek of the armament itself let me see if I can get some of these tickets here I'm gonna just buy as many tickets as I can so here we can see like okay this one is 26 tickets and I know it's partly infantry focused this one's four tickets and it's got double archer stats right which is nice but this one shows me literally what like slot it goes in so each one of these gives you a little bit more information this looks like all damage right yeah archer defense and all damage so we bought this one and that's what we get let's buy the all damage one and what do we get here it is a half a percent all damage so this is actually a purple it looks like so okay there we go this one is 26 tickets let's buy the 26 ticket one see what that one costs and that is yeah see 26 tickets for that that doesn't seem I mean that seems expensive for that this one's double archers but it's guaranteed double archers but it could be like a purple right yeah there we go it's purple so there we go okay is there a way to refresh oh there is okay so it's free to refresh it the first time so let's do that oh it looks like it's free again maybe that's only because I'm in the test server I'm not really sure but this one so for example this one we know guaranteed is legendary but we don't know if it has an inscription or not so for 28 let's just see what do we get here it is cav attack and it looks like no inscription so yeah i mean i guess this is this is an interesting event if you're looking to get specific pieces for your like if you're actually just chasing a single slot for a particular you know armament set then this could be a good way to go about doing that by the way the staggered formation let's actually take a look at that really quick because i was taking a look at this before actually and if we take a look at the codex here for the staggered formation all the way at the bottom uh, you'll see that we have hasty retreat 50 percent march speed while routed fallback is 20 percent we have blast shield where if you take aoe the damage is reduced by 30 percent and then the rare one is 15 percent same thing here we've got full force you increase your troop capacity by five percent or two percent for those inscriptions and then this one's interesting it says if the wielder's troop is in a rally or garrison but is not the captain the wielder's troop gains five percent sev wound resistance so that's crazy i mean here we got two percent for the rare one but that's real good guys so if you're going to be like joining rally and garrisons like this is going to be the way to go but like also if i'm being a hundred percent honest i don't know who's like acquiring armaments for the sole purpose of joining rallies and garrisons maybe some people are doing that i have no idea but that is definitely what this specific formation is all about another new feature i noticed in the test server is called cityscape okay and if you tap this what this is going to do is it's actually going to let you copy and also share i guess your city layout right and there's going to be a community tab where you can actually like go through and look at a bunch of different city layouts and choose the ones that you think are the coolest looking i guess you can also enter a governor id here i just tried typing in my id and nothing comes up so maybe you have to opt into this so when this feature actually goes live perhaps like i could for example share my city layout how my city looks and then once i do that maybe you guys can go and i'll copy that layout that's going to be really interesting it's going to be kind of cool to see like maybe all all, like an entire alliance will come together and like all put their same city layout like that could be really interesting this also is going to be really nice like for example like I like how my city is laid out and I would like it if my farm was laid out that way as well but I'm too lazy to go through and do all that so it's going to be cool to be able to just share my layout and then my farm can copy it if it wants to I wonder how it's going to work with like the event items that other players might not have right like limited event things like how is that going to work maybe it's just an empty space no idea how that's going to work there but but that's another cool feature you can find if you tap on this little little hammer here and that's how you're going to get there now we have a few updates to migration first of all it looks like the recruitment plaza is a new feature that's going to be launched here and it says kingdoms in soc can publish recruitment ads in the plaza which can be viewed and filtered by potential immigrants so this is cool I think a lot of players use things like discord channels to find new kingdoms to go to and you know anytime you have to download another app for your game it's too complicated right I know a lot of you watching use discord and so do I but like for the average player that's not even watching these YouTube videos it's nice that you're going to be able to find a new kingdom just within the game itself with the recruitment plasma I like that a lot also we've got immigration optimization 
nations cross-season immigration now requires putting a down deposit of 20,000 gems once you receive eligibility a deposit will be deducted from your account once you've finished immigrating your deposit will be refunded to you so you're not actually paying 20,000 you're going to get it back but if your eligibility expires and you haven't immigrated to the kingdom you lose the deposit governors with less than 10 million power are not eligible for cross-season immigration and lowered the power limit for cross season immigration from 100 million down to 85 million so no more 100 million power player cross season immigration it's going to be interesting to see how this actually affects players going to and from different servers and the last thing here is actually changes to Ark of Osiris it looks like for the league grand finals there's going to be a live stream five minute delay that's totally fine and expensive expected and reasonable at the start of the Osiris League Grand Finals all participants will be provided with equipment and armaments to use they will be recalled at the end of Grand Finals that's nice actually giving them that stuff is good because it kind of puts everyone on an even playing field which I like added a tournament feature for Ark of Osiris events you can view a record of past tournament results through the Ark of Osiris page that's pretty cool the tournament history feature includes video replays of the Osiris League playoffs Grand Finals and Grand Prix I love that and it will also include replays from the current year and the previous year but starting in 2024 so lots of new changes coming to update 83 and i'm gonna be honest guys i feel like this is the calm before the storm like there's a lot coming with this update but i feel like with the we're on the brink of the new graphics update coming for the remastered kvk heroic anthem my kingdom is registered for that so hopefully i can show you guys that on the channel but also they've already announced the home kingdom remastered graphics which is really nice so there's tons to look forward to coming up even beyond update 83 so the fact that there's a lot in this update is really great because we have even even more to come guys if you enjoyed this video you made it all the way to the end drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts on this update are you excited for the new kvk story and the new updated museum what do you guys think about all the content here I would love to hear from you in the comment section below and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace